I love my students an appropriate amount. Uh, it's important. So. You ever met that teacher that's like, I love kids. All right, back off. <laughs> love my students. They have some weird names, which can be kind of awkward. Some weird names. The parents are giving out some weird names, which is fine. I think that's great. Give your kid a weird name. You just can't get mad at me if I can't pronounce or spell your weird name. That's all I think, right? A girl got mad at me recently because I misspelled her name on the board for everyone to see, which can be embarrassing. I understand that. But her name was Rose. I was like, oh, I don't... I don't think you can misspell that word, right? She goes, uh, yeah, it's R-O-Z-E. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure your parents were wrong, right? <laughs> Looks like when they had you, they made two mistakes. <laughs> Oh, you guys don't do standing ovations for jokes? Okay. <laughs> Fine. Another kid, his name was spelled G-A-G-N-O-N, -N, like Gaganon. Like, you all right, man? What are you gagging on? Everything good? <laughs> this is kind of a weird name, whatever. I call him that all year long until the end of the year. I heard his girlfriend. She goes, hey, Ganyan, come here. Because it was French. I was like, dude. I've been calling you Gaganon for nine months. <laughs> you didn't say anything. It was, I just kind of thought you were being a jerk. Well, I just thought your parents were weird. I don't know. <laughs> Nobody cares about spelling anymore, right? Because we got spell check and we got autocorrect and that takes care of most things, but not everything. Like if you're like me and you get that red squiggly line under a word and then it gives you 10 options to choose from, you're like, uh, it's harder now. Uh, I didn't know the first time. I'm not gonna know when you give me 10 multiple choice options to choose from, right? Just throw something in, Bill Gates. I don't know, you know? Like, I just got essays back from my students about their future plans, what they want to do after high school, and a bunch of them were like, I'm defiantly going to collage. You're gonna angrily do arts and crafts <laughs> for your Joanne Fabrics future. That's the big paper mache plan, Brad. I can tell there are people in the room right now that are like, I don't get it. I don't. <laughs> I have no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> no, you're not definitely going to college, right? Like maybe community collage, but not like, or like Utah State or something, but not a real. Oh, don't, don't get upset with me. I just Googled the worst college in Utah. It's not, I don't... It's not my fault. Did I pick the right one? I don't even know. I... <laughs> Subscribe to Drybar Comedy for even more of the world's largest collection of clean comedy.